Hey quilty friends, I'm Natalia Bonner back with another little machine quilting video. So this cool quilt is one that was made by my client Teresa and she brought it to me for some custom machine quilting. So all of these hexagons are done by hand. It's gorgeous. She does amazing work and I'm so privileged to be able to quilt it for her. So in today's little video, this is just a peek into some of the machine quilting that I did on this quilt and I hope you're able to find some inspiration from it and you know, maybe think beyond the seams. Just because something is a hexagon doesn't mean it just has to be treated like a hexagon. Over on Patreon today, I, well, I will have it in the future over on Patreon. A quilt, this quilt where I go in depth and show you many of the blocks on here and walk you a little bit more through my thought process and my design process through the threads that I'm choosing and the designs, all of that. Just, you know, take a deeper dive into my machine quilting process. But in the meantime, let's share this little video. Before we do get to the video though, all of my machine quilting is done on the Gamel 22 inch machine. I love that machine. I do all of my stitching in the stitch regulated mode and I have my stitch length set at 12 stitches per inch. The thread that I'm using on this particular quilt is so fine by Superior Threads on the top and bottom line also by Superior Threads on the bobbin. We do have these products available for purchase on our website. It's peaceandquilt.com. And we also have a few Thread of the Month subscription clubs that we'd love to have you join, so check those out. All right, let's get to the quilting. And feathers. I know they're not the typical thing that you would think to quilt on a hexagon quilt block, but they can be quilted. Feathers are so forgiving that I feel like they really can be quilted anywhere. With this particular hexagon, I am quilting some bump back feathers. It's a great feather. It does require a bit of practice because you need to have really great control when you're stitching over the top with that bump back. But once you master those, they're beautiful and you can quilt them almost anywhere. They're also a great way to give a little bit of curved motion to a design, like what's happening here. It will have kind of a circular curvature feel to it and fill in those hexagons really, really nicely. <laughs> 